everyone, happy Monday, welcome to a new vlog. That reminds me, I need to get to today's vlog uploaded. It's all edited and ready to go, but I just haven't uploaded it. Um, I wanted to show you some stuff. Now that I've announced that we're getting another puppy, I wanted to show you some stuff that has arrived recently for her. Um, just before I do that, anyone who's wondering, um, I had my first COVID-19 vaccine on Saturday and um on sunday so yesterday i was so tired my arm was hurting so bad um but i didn't have like a fever or any of those symptoms although my temperature was slightly elevated this morning um but on the whole i didn't feel ill i just felt so tired and my arm hurt so much um today my arm is still really hurting but not as much as yesterday um and i don't feel as exhausted as i did yesterday either so it does seem to be sort of like just a 24 hour thing um my arm i think is going to hurt for a little while because it always does after i have my yearly f uh, flu jab as well um i've just realized all that mess in the background that is stuff left over from the kitchen renovation that we need to sort out um but yeah let me show you this puppy stuff so the first thing is this amazing snuggle sack. It's from The Silly Sausage on Etsy. I follow them on Instagram and I've wanted to order a snuggle sack for a really long time. And I thought that getting a new puppy was an excuse to. Winnie already has a different kind of snuggle sack that I picked up in TK Maxx. But now that I've seen this, I feel like I need to get her one of these. Um, All she ever does is steal my blanket on the couch. So I feel like she needs one of these in her life on the couch for sure. Um, so I might go back and order her another. But um, this one's for the puppy. So it's this beautiful pink fleece with these little chocolate sausage dogs on. I think that this might actually be a fleece that's available at the moment in Asda. At the very least, it's the same material anyway. But like I say, it's from the Silly Sausage. This is their smallest size and it's actually a really good size. Um, it's got beige fleece on the inside and it's just so soft. Um, and honestly, I think that Winnie and the puppy could probably snuggle up in here together. But you can't always assume that your dogs are going to get on straight away. So I might go back and order Winnie another one, maybe in a different fabric. Because this is so lovely. And then last week, um, I had to order a few bits on Amazon and I wanted to get free postage. So I picked up two little toys, um, both from Rosewood pet this is the little nippers jolly giraffe and then this is the mr twister rope dog toy and i know that um she will probably destroy these straight away but it's never a bad idea to have a couple of cheap toys in um and i don't think i'm gonna buy sorry the dogs were just doing something at my feet were you having a fight were you having a play fight i was trying to talk and then all of a sudden winnie's bum barged into my leg are you having a little fight? <laughs> this is their version of playing. They chase each other round. Don't you? Do you chase each other? Anyway, yeah, so I don't think it's a bad idea to have a few cheap toys in that she can destroy. Um, but the breeder is sending her home with quite a decent puppy pack. So I think she'll have a few toys in there to destroy as well. I'm I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, because Archie was a real biter. Um, like, he bit us a lot. <laughs> but he never really destroyed his toys. Sometimes he would pull the legs off of toys like this, but... Um, he's never really destroyed his toys or chewed anything that he shouldn't be chewing. So I am a bit nervous that this time we will get a dog that will chew everything. A lot of people don't realise this, especially when they first get a Dachshund, but they're actually part of the hound group. So they do love to chew. They love to uh, use their noses. So we've got a snuffle mat um, in the cupboard under the stairs uh, that I will be digging out for the puppy. I need to use it more for Archie and Winnie, to be honest. Um, enrichment toys indoors. It's something I'm not particularly great at with my two and I want to get better at it. But I'll be digging it out for the puppy because they love to use their nose and it's a good distraction from chewing. Um, and we'll be offering her lots of long lasting chews and things like that to try and make sure that she's chewing the right things and not like our skirting boards. Um, but a good thing about being at home most of the time is that she, she will be supervised. So it's not like we'll be going out and leaving her for hours and coming home and she's chewed everything. Um, we don't leave the dogs unsupervised. Anyway, I'm a bit of an anxious dog mum. Obviously, we don't want separation anxiety, so we will be doing lots of training so that she's happy to be left alone, but I wouldn't just leave her out alone in the living room to destroy stuff, you know what I mean? 
Um, but I did have a laugh with Will because every year we put our Christmas tree out and we put all the presents underneath it. And even though Archie knows which ones are for him, and he definitely knows, he never, ever touches a single one of them, ever, until Christmas morning when we tell him he can, and then he rips into them. So he is such a good boy. And obviously Winnie doesn't have any teeth, and she generally just leaves everything alone anyway. And I do think that we won't be this lucky the third time round, so we might have to get like a baby gate around the Christmas tree this year or something, but um, I'm really excited and I love buying stuff for her already. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, one of the builders was here today, he came to tile behind our sink and I'm really hoping that that's the last time anyone will need to be here now. Um, the downstairs toilet still needed a few bits doing to it, um, so that's done. Um, but he also, while he was here, filled in a few of the dodgy bits in the coving and it's made it look so much better, so I'm really grateful for that. I didn't realise how dodgy it did look in places until he's just fixed it. Annoyingly, we literally got rid of this stool last night because my dad came and dropped off our armchair. They had it in storage. It was my parents' old armchair. We've got it now for our living room. And when he came, he took away all of his stuff that was left behind when they finished the building work. And now the builders left it here today. <laughs> so annoyed, because I want to get it all completely tidied and organized downstairs to do a little video house tour for our breeder. So you guys know now we're getting a new puppy. Our breeder is amazing. She was recommended to me by a friend. I was so lucky to find her, um, but she's really, really thorough. She like really thoroughly vets her new homes. She doesn't sell to anyone that she doesn't connect with or click with. And um, she wants to see the house um and where the puppy will be living and everything so i wanted to get it all ship shaped today to send off a little video tour for her and now there's stuff all over the place again but i am very grateful that they came to do the last bits today because it looks really good well the coving looks really good it doesn't look so great in here right now and um, we literally only had four tiles left so they've done just a little single row here um, and I'm gonna have to repaint this. Obviously, I'm so sick of painting now, but it is what it is. We've got a mirror to go up there now. Um, it's just gonna go on this wall here. And then I would like to get like a picture to go here. Um, there'll be a toilet roll holder here somewhere. Um, I need a nice little hand towel and maybe like a plant um, or a diffuser or something for the windowsill, a new blind, and we'll be done. We still need new blinds for the kitchen and this little utility space as well and a rug for the kitchen, but I want to get those when the shops are open again. Um, so now I'm gonna clean all the sides and everything, disinfect everything um, and put everything back in its place and see if I can film some sort of video tour for the breeder anyway. Here is the armchair. I've just chucked the blanket over it to see what it would look like, but I don't like it. So um, I'm gonna get another throw for it and I'm gonna invest in some nice cushions as well because ours are rubbish. Um, but this is the armchair. So there's gonna be like a little reading nook here. We might get a little end table and put a lamp on it. I don't know. Wills has had to go into the office today to help clear it all out because um, some of the offices are permanently closing. So his golf clubs are here. They are not a permanent fixture. Um, and that mirror will go on the wall at some point. But yeah, there's the big armchair. It's really nice. It's made this room feel more um, put together, I guess, because we've got um, this sofa, which is like brown leather with obviously then the soft cushions and everything. Um, and this armchair is brown leather. So it's nice. It gives somewhere else to sit in the room and makes it feel a bit more complete. And yeah, when you come into the room, it just looks nice with the TV over there now. I'm watching an old series of Married at First Sight. <laughs> um, there's my little Archie Paparoon. And yeah, 
I'm doing some work at the moment, so. Hi, Winnie. Hi. <laughs> everyone happy monday i'm lumping these two vlogs together because last week i was feeling quite low and i ended up not really filming anything um you didn't miss much i literally just watched married at first sight australia all week um had high hopes for half term and didn't get much of it done after tuesday i basically just vegged on the couch so um sorry my neighbors have just had a visitor arrive I say a visitor, they're an elderly couple, so they have people who come to help them. Don't worry, they're not breaking lockdown rules or anything. Um, also, my face, please just, <laughs> please just bear with me. My skin is really playing up at the moment. I think it's stress and poor diet, to be honest, because I'm not eating well at the moment. Anyway, rambles. So I've got loads to do today. Um, I taught all morning, it was the first day back after half term. So I taught all morning and then, um, went on a little lunchtime dog walk with Will, came home, had some lunch, and now I'm cracking on with the rest of my jobs for the day. Um, I've got a craft project to create for Lisa over at Lollipop Box Club. Um, I've got, this is like just a fun little thing, but I've got some cards I wanna send to people and a few people I need to email. And also I'm expecting a phone call from work. So yeah, gonna crack on. Hello everyone, it's me in the kitchen again with a cup of tea, again. Um, I ended up not being able to film anything else yesterday because I was so busy and it was actually really nice like having the morning to focus on work. I did a few more work bits in the afternoon, created a project and blog post for Lisa over at Lollipop Box Club, edited and uploaded a video. I ended up getting a bunch of stuff done and I'm really pleased with myself. Um, so I'm hoping to have another productive day today. The kids are just on their break at the moment. So as I say, I'm having a cup of tea and um, then I will be teaching them until lunchtime. And then I've got a few more bits to do. I've managed to send off a few work emails this morning before I started teaching so I can tick them off my list. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's pretty cold, but it's lovely and sunny and I want to make the most of it. So I think I might try and get outside for a little walk. Um, I need to post a parcel. I've got um, the parcel for the Emma Bridgewater secret Easter bunny <laughs> swap. I did the secret Santa and now I'm doing the secret Easter bunny as well because I enjoyed it so much. Um, so I've got my parcel all packaged up and ready to send. So I wanna do that today. And um, yeah, I've just got a few more bits and bobs to try and sort out. I really wanna clean out the rabbits uh, today so that that's done for this week. Um, but yeah, I just feel so much better when it's sunny. And for those of us in the UK, obviously we had um, the announcement of our roadmap out of lockdown yesterday. Um, so the idea is that from the 8th of March, every five weeks, um, if the data allows it, restrictions will be lifted um, and hopefully by the 21st of June we will no longer have any restrictions. That would be amazing and I know a lot of people are sceptical. I'm considering myself cautiously optimistic um, because I think the vaccines are working so I think if enough people do have the vaccine there's no reason why we can't think optimistically about the summer. Um, so yeah. Hope everyone is doing well on this lovely Tuesday and um, I'll speak to you in a bit. Excuse the state of our garden, but you know it's much warmer when Winnie willingly goes outside and stays outside. <laughs> it's actually really warm in the sun. I just walked to the post office and back and it was lovely, apart from the windiness. Yeah, so I just went to the post office. I finished work for the morning. Um, there's a few bits that I need to do this afternoon, but I'm gonna take a lunch break and let myself chill for a bit. But my video calls are all done uh, for the morning. Uh, so I just walked to the post office just to post my parcel. It's pretty much like the only place I'm going at the moment, the post office. Um, <laughs> I haven't been anywhere in quite a while now. Um, 
I am still shielding as much as possible, but um, not super strictly like I was in the first lockdown. So um, if I need to go to the post office, for example, I'm nipping out there. Um, oh, Winnie's sitting in the sunshine. It's the first time she's been able to do that this year. I actually said to Will the other day that I really hope she gets another spring with us because sitting out in the garden in the sun is her favorite thing to do. She absolutely loves it. And she just sunbathes for hours throughout the spring and summer. And I didn't want winter to be her last season. Oh, Archie's just gone out and now she's playing with him. I know that footage was rubbish, sorry, but I had to document that. She keeps going to sit back down and then she can't quite decide because it's quite windy, but obviously the sun is lovely and warm. But anyway, I really didn't want winter to be her last season because it is just her least favourite. She's so um, lazy during winter, like she just wants to lay on the couch in blankets, to be fair, so do I, but you know, like, she's just so much happier in the spring and summer and also in the winter she gets seasonal alopecia so a lot of her fur falls out and it all comes back in the spring and by the summer she just looks beautiful again and i just really wanted her to still be with us throughout spring and summer so that she could have the you know those glorious days in the garden in the sun um and i'm so glad that she's still here and hopefully we'll have lovely weather throughout march um at least so that you know if she's still here through the spring she can be out in the garden and it just makes me really happy like i feel really warm and fuzzy today and we still don't know what's going to happen you know everything can change overnight but i just feel like there is genuine hope today and even if winnie only gets this one sunny afternoon in the garden like that for me is still a lovely thing to be happy about today although hopefully obviously she'll have more but I just feel warm and fuzzy today and it's nice because I've had a long time of feeling rubbish. Hi everyone, um, I can't remember the last time I filmed anything, but um, I am gonna put this vlog up today even though it's short. Um, I haven't filmed, obviously, um, for most of this week and I'm just sad. Like, I've just got a lot going on and I can't um, talk about it yet at all really um and i also can't pretend that i'm all just fine if i'm not so um it's just been easier for me not to film at all but um i do have days or or weeks where i feel better than others so hopefully i will feel a little bit better this coming week and next week hopefully there'll be um a more positive more normal vlog i'm gonna get all my easter decorations out today so you'll see that in next week's vlog um but yeah i hope you're all well stay safe and i'll see you next time bye